What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022 edition, probably? I don't even know, maybe going into 2023? Anywho, it's nighttime, look at that. And how appropriate is it that we're going to be going into the Ruins of Elf? Uh, yeah, and this is the first part of the Ruins of Elf, because, well, we're going to be discovering some few new things and all that crud. It's going to be fantastic. Anywho, in our last episode, we won our very first badge against Faulkner. Got to see the reasons why, you know, maybe trading Pokemon right now would be a bad idea, but I could care less. So... Here it is, guys, the Ruins of Elf. Now, this is a mysterious place where you're going to be looking at some crazy stuff. The Ruins of Elf visitors welcome. Let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, yeah, this is just creepy as heck. And here's a lady. She's like, this place has a mystical quality to it. It feels sort of uh, it, 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 it the real even. I don't even know what that means, but it's, you know, it's pretty crazy. Look at this. You can see the markings on the wall. It's, it's like it's looking at you. It's like, this place is too big of a room, but there's nothing here. There really isn't anything right here, guys. It's just, uh, it's kind of crazy. But, there is a little bit of a something-something that you can actually do at the very start of this game to get things rolling. And that, I'm going to be showing you guys right away before these people are just, like, just run, running uh, around you. So, if you go right here, the research center, the authority on Ruins of Elf. Talk to this gentleman, he's gonna be like, the ruins are the ruins are about 1,500 years old, but it's not known why they were built or who, by whom. Yeah, this is kind of crazy, and then if you talk to this guy, he's like, there are odd patterns uh, drawn onto the walls of the uh, ruins. They must be, uh, they, mu they must be the keys for unraveling in the, the, unraveling the mysteries of the ruins. That is true. Now, I believe there are three, maybe four separate portions to this whole uh, this whole area right here. The Mystery Stone Channel uh, panel. If you go in here, talk to this lady, she's going to be like, Welcome to this chamber! There are sliding panels that depict a Pokemon drawn by ancients. Slide the panels around to form the picture. To the right is a description of the Pokemon. Scientists in the back are examining some newly found patterns. Okay, so first is first, we're going to be looking at this. Let's go ahead and read the description. A Pokemon that hid in the sea floor. Eyes in its back scan the area. I wonder what Pokemon that could be. Let's go ahead and take a look. So in this section right here, you're going to be doing a little bit of a... Of a you're going to be doing a little bit of a, whatchamacallit, a puzzle. As many of you guys already know, you guys got to go with the corners for first. And it's trying to actually show a different, a, a, a specific Pokemon that lived in the ancients. And, well, I'm just, I'm kind of winging it right now. Because these things can look like anything. And it looks like to me I may have messed up a little. Yeah, right here. And let's see, right here. There we go. And as you can see, it's starting to take form. Look at that. Okay. So to me, it looks more like a Kabuto, right? Or Kabutops, I don't know. So, right here, yeah, I'm just winging it with whatever I got, and here's another one, go right here, let's go with its bottom, wow, like that's, that's, the, that's the funny part about these things, it, like the bottom can look like either or and all that stuff, as you can see, we're, it, this whole thing is starting to take shape, and well, got one more, and bam, as you can see, we got Kabuto looking at it. Now, once you do this, the floor is going to start shaking, and bam, you hit the floor. There is a strange presence here. Okay, so now, once you solve the puzzle, you have unlocked something. The very first thing, and I believe it's, uh, well, you're going to be finding out in just a little bit, guys. I'm just going to be walking, and look at this. We're going to find out right now. Look at that. We have found an unknown, and uh, as many of you guys already know, in Generation 2 right now, there is at least 27 different kinds of unknowns, and I believe in this one, you've unlocked the first what? The first 10 unknowns? No, first 5, I think. So, what's going to happen right here is we're going to actually try and capture this guy. If we can actually... Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to battle it and then and capture it, because... If you catch, if you catch three unknowns, you will be able to get something special inserted into your Pokedex. So let's go right ahead and uh, take this hidden power. 
and as you can see, like many unknown, they only have one attack and one attack only, and that's uh, hidden power. And their hidden power differs from their stat variety and all that stuff. I don't want to even go into the math equation because who likes math? Really. So let's go right ahead and grab this Pokeball right here. Toss it. Alright, unknown, come on. You know you want to be on my team? Not really. And BAM! Oh crap, baskets. Okay, so that is not cool. Now, how messed up would it be? Seriously, like, how messed up would it be if I had a, a team full of unknown and I went straight to the Pokemon League? Has anybody tried that yet? Can you win Pokemon Crystal, Gold, Silver, Crystal with just unknown? And good god, this guy is a little too hard to actually capture. Come on. He's throwing a, he's throwing some hard-hitting, so, uh, hard-hitting, uh, hidden powers right here. It's getting me a little worried. Alright, come on. You know you want to be on our team. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Come on. And, yes, okay. So there you go, guys. I believe we caught ourselves Unknown B. Could be wrong. So here it is, Unknown, the symbol Pokemon. Because different types of Unknown exist, it is said that they must have a variety of, abil of abilities. Well, the thing is that you, you won't be able to see their abilities right now, but later on, you know, later on, you, you guys will, 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 will get an idea of what their abilities might be, and I think this is a known age. Holy crud. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna capture them all. Please don't make this Pokemon faint. Come on, Chico. Don't be like that. And, ooh, look at that. Okay. Please don't let it be a, a type disadvantage. Oh, Jesus. That was a type disadvantage. Okay, so we gotta switch out the Pokemon right here. Let's go with Rocky. Hopefully it's not like, uh... Hopefully it's not like a... Well, what, what's the type disadvantage to these both Pokemon? I don't even know. Grass, poison, no. Nope, not effective. Okay, so... Uh, let's go with attack. We'll see what happens right here. And, okay, so we have weakened this unknown. I guess if we get three, that'd be great. So let's go right ahead and uh, do that. And we got four Pokeballs. These Pokemon right here are kind of like, they're, they're pseudo-legendary, believe it or not. So they're going to be a little difficult to capture. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so that's two. Okay, and I am not giving this a known nickname and all that stuff. Okay, so that's two. Let's go right ahead and capture a different one. Again, you have unlocked... A f like, you, you... I believe you... Let's see, there's 27, so I believe you've unlocked the first... Uh, the first nine letters right here and I think this one's a known A right here so let's go right ahead and tackle it if you guys don't know hidden power it is a uh, well it is math based on your stats and everything and that that's what gets the, the typing and crap baskets we got another typing right here the same typing so let's go straight back to Rocky and uh, let's see what ends up happening right here and uh, no, it fled. Okay, so these guys can fly, uh, or do fl- uh, I can't even say it. They do fly, tend to fl flee, or, yeah, they too- they, I can't even say it, damn! They tend to flee. That's what it is. Okay, so, I'll be right back with you guys after capturing the next different unknown. Okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves unknown A. Yeah, this guy was trying to be difficult and all that stuff. Yeah, and thankfully we caught it right next to the exit. Okay, so let's go right here. After capturing three different kinds of unknown, guys, this guy will be outside waiting for you, and he's gonna be like, hmm, that's a Pokedex, isn't it? May I see it? There are so many kinds of Pokemon. Hmm, what's this? What is this Pokemon? It looks like a strange writing on the walls of the ruins. If those drawings are really Pokemon, there should be many more. I know. Let me upgrade your Pokedex. Follow me. Yeah, well, look at that. We're following him, and, well... Going into the PC, he is upgrading the, po the Pokedex. And bam, done! I modified your Pokedex. I added an optional Pokedex to store the unknown data. It records them in the sequence that they, are, that they were caught. And yes, look at that. We got ourselves another upgrade, and the unknown... The unknown you catch will be recorded. Check to see how many kinds exist. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, unknown dex. Now, if you go down there, is if you guys can see right here, you press select through the option, you will have different kinds of uh, modes. The old Pokedex mode, you got the new mode, which is, you know, the Johto mode, A through Z mode, and then right there and then, yes, the unknown mode. And as you can see, guys, we got ourselves three different kinds of unknowns. A, H, and I believe B. Now, if you guys can read all that stuff, please let me know what they say, because I have no... Oh, wow, angry. That's That looks like angry. Huh. If you guys can read it, then just let me know. But that is uh, that is something that you guys get to discover right there. Now, there is one more thing that you, ac you guys can actually find right here in the uh, Ruins of Alf. Now, you've already opened this part right here, but if you go right here, never really realized this, but talk to this individual, he's like, that trimmer was pretty scary. But I'm more concerned about this wall here. Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd. They weren't here a little while ago. You should take a look at the, the walls. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at this wall right here. And if you take a look, patterns appear on the walls. And it says something, and it says escape. Believe it or not, guys. And I can thank uh, Psycho for this one. Shout out to Psycho. You go with the escape rope right here, and then you get out, and you're coming out of the uh, the cave. Go back inside. Bam! Something opens. Oh wow! Okay, so let's see what opens. He's like, ah, here's another huge hole. It's big enough to go through. Going to go through, and you find yourself four Pokeballs right here, plus uh, another entrance to the to the Ruins of Elf. So yeah, let's go ahead and see that. We got ourselves a Poison Cure Berry. Not bad. Grab this one. Got ourselves a regular berry. So that's something new that we haven't gotten right there. Grab this one. We got ourselves a Heal Powder. Not bad. Grab this one, and here's an Energy Powder. So some rare items, and if you go down here, bam, you get yourself some messages. So, look at this, words shall, okay, so words shall, let's see, remain, or, let's see, remain, oh wow, okay, remain here for, let's see what it says right there, for the e eons, or, I don't even know what that says. Huh. What's this one? Huh. Comment down below to tell me what that, that means right there. So, there you go, guys. That's our first message. And we are back into the Ruins of Elf. So, we're going to be taking... Uh, we're going to try and get out of here. We're probably going to be getting attacked by some, uh, by some unknown. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So, we're back. Now, this isn't the only thing that we can do right here. The only... The only problem is that we do not have either the HMs or the Pokemon for it. Uh, I believe there are two more caves right here that you can actually find. And, uh, yeah, that won't be getting, uh, we won't be going there until, I don't know, until we get all these Pokemon. So, yeah, this has been part one right here, guys. And, well, let's go straight up right here. There's a little something that I didn't, uh, really get to showcase, and that's Route 36. These people are saying there's a there's an odd uh, tree blocking the way from Goldenrod City all the way to Ecrity, and this guy is like, well, hey, I was going to snap the tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. What tree are we talking about right here? Look at this guy. It's a wiggly tree. Wonder what it is. And uh, well, normally you would be able to carry. Oh, there, normally in Pokemon Silver and Gold, there wouldn't be no. Yeah, there wouldn't be no grass right there, but since it's crystal, there is a specific Pokemon you can actually capture. Many of you guys are like, well, why don't you capture him? I know you're going off native Pokemon, but hey, you know, I kind of want to make it hard on myself right here. So, that has been this episode of the Ruins of Elf, guys. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go straight down to whatever route we're going to. Who knows? We might find ourselves another Pokemon right there. Alrighty, so if you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, click on the heart button right there, guys. Make a click on the, the link right there below. If you guys want to join this channel, there's memberships. Yes, there will be a Pokemon Silver walkthrough for members only. 
I don't know if you guys uh, would want to watch it, but if you guys do, it will be for members only. You can join right here. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through another route. See you guys.